Over 700,000 used fake condoms have been recycled. They are of unknown origin, have no expiration date, and do not have any contraceptive effect. Let's join Tolo, Microsport in searching for the truth now. And here is an image of a condom under 40x magnification. Condoms are made of plastic, latex or sheepskin. You can also see a thin layer of fluid on the condom. It helps reduce friction, prevent pain, and enhance sexual stimulation. The lubricant also helps keep the condom from breaking. Additionally, condoms contain spermicides. Some condoms are coated inside with a spermicide. This can reduce the risk of pregnancy. However, spermicides can also irritate the genitals, making you more susceptible to HIV infection. So what is this lubricating fluid? Does it pose any health risks? Let's continue to follow along to find out. And here is an image of the lubricant inside a condom under 400x magnification. In essence, it is a lubricant gel, similar to the types of lubricant gels sold separately on the market. This special type of lubricant is very supportive for a smoother and cooler sex experience. In some types of extended duration condoms, a sufficient amount of lidocaine, a mild anesthetic, is added to the solution to help prolong intercourse. This lubricant also directly affects the durability of the condom. It creates a thin film around the condom, helping the condom to stretch and contract better. In addition, there are osmolality and harsh chemical components in lubricants that can cause discomfort, irritation, and increase the risk of infection even with short-term exposure. However, not all lubricants in condoms cause vaginal irritation. And not all women are irritated when exposed to lubricants in condoms. Although the lubricant in condoms is safe for users, there are some exceptional cases that are outside of the general rule. According to statistics from Durex in 2014, only about 2% of users are allergic to the lubricant in condoms. The reason is that there are currently many types of condoms made from natural rubber and protein material, which can cause allergies in many people. When allergic to latex, the immune system will mistake these proteins as harmful invaders and release antibodies to fight against them. This immune reaction can cause itching, skin inflammation or other allergic symptoms. In reality, women still have the possibility of contracting vaginal diseases even if they have used condoms during intercourse. The reason is that condoms are made from synthetic materials with chemical components. Therefore, when they come into contact with the vagina for too long, they can cause infections such as vaginitis, cervical inflammation, and uterine inflammation. Not to mention that fake condoms and low-quality condoms are rampant in the market, making the use of condoms even more dangerous and the risk of women contracting vaginal diseases increasing, even affecting their reproductive abilities. Most of the processes for producing fake condoms are unsafe, not quality tested, and provide conditions for bacteria and disease-causing viruses. That's why we need to be really cautious and know how to choose and distinguish real from fake condoms. For fake condoms, the print on the packaging is blurred, there is no expiration date, the condom shell is difficult to tear, the lubricant inside the condom is not guaranteed, the condom material has low elasticity and is easy to break, and when you open the package, you may smell strong chemicals or rubber, there may be tiny holes on the surface of the condom that allow water or air to seep through. Genuine condoms will have a bright and sharp packaging with a product seal on it. The bottom or side of the box will clearly show the expiration date and batch number. There will be a circulation number issued by the Ministry of Health on the box. After opening the packaging, genuine condoms are usually white and clear. Fake condoms will have a yellowish color like tea. I hope that through this video, it has helped you have a correct understanding of condoms to protect your own health and your loved ones. If you're curious about any other topics, please comment below so that we can make it happen, and don't forget to subscribe to support us to create more videos. Thank you for watching, goodbye, and see you in the next video.